Want to know what's sold this week? Stay tuned and find out. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie from Three Queens Resale and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me and if you are returning, thanks so much for coming back. It means a lot to me as I work on continuing to build my YouTube community. So I am in my classroom at school. It's Friday um, and we don't have kids on Friday and so it's my office hours and nobody ain't coming to my office hours because they haven't all year. So I thought I would get this video done while I am sitting here and get it up so that uh, you can see what I sold this weekend. So if you want to know what I sold, go ahead and hit that like button and let's get into it. So um, this week covers from May 9th through the 15th, Sunday, May 9th. So starting off, I had two cells. Um, Poshmark. The first was this Express Peplum Top um, Size Medium Olive Green and this was from one of my consignees, Coach Aaron, and it had, was my 123rd item listed of the year. I just reached uh, 700 items listed so far this year. Way short of my 5,000 item goal, but I'm going to try to get in there, make a comeback in, my, in the summer months here. Um, so that sold for $10, and after the $2.95 fee, I was left with $7.05. So next up was this loft dress. Uh, v, it was a V-neck sleeveless dress. Um, size small, I think. Um, it sold for $17 on Poshmark, and after the $3.40 in fees and the $1.50 shipping discount that I paid, I was left with $12.10 bringing my Sunday total to a whopping $19.15. Monday did not get much better. Um, I sold one item on Monday, May 10th, and that was on Poshmark as well. It was my 203rd item listing of, no, it was not. It was listed in June 2003, or um, no, June. It was listed in June of last year. It was number 203. I got confused. But anyway, it was this Lucky Brand Camel Print Small Maxi Dress. It sold for $11, and after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $8.05, bringing my Monday total to uh, $8.05. Something's better than nothing. Next up was Tuesday, May 11th, and the first thing to sell was the Studium Burke Giraffe Print Purse. It is one of my consigning Aaron's haul items, and I will link her haul up above um, so that you can see the items that are left in that and go ahead and purchase those for her. Um, it sold for $60, and after the $12 in fees, I was left with $48. Aaron will get 40% of that, and I will take $60 if you are in the central Indiana. Fishers, Indianapolis, Greenwood um, area and are interested in consigning with Three Queens Resale, um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, you can message me. My information is all in the bio below or in the description for the YouTube video. I would be happy to take you on as a consignment client. I am opening up a Shopify um, live January 1st um, that will be specific to my con signing items as well as listing them on my other platforms so I'm really trying to grow that segment of my business and I would love if you would consign your items with me so moving on um, next up was this Lily Pulitzer Finn T size medium this had been my daughter Courtney's and it had been listed since April of last year it sold for $23 and after the $4.60 I was actually no it had not it had been listed since April of this year and it was item 465 of this of my listings so it sold for $23 and after the $4.60 in fees I was left with 1840 then next up 
was a vintage top and I do not sell very much vintage I think this was called dead stock which means it was vintage with an original tag on it and so I found it and um, I believe it was junior sizing because it was size 13 but I did have this item listed since March of last year I would picked it up at a local Goodwood Goodwill for a dollar and thought I'd give it a chance well, it finally sold for $16 on Poshmark, and after the $3.20 in fees, I was left with $12.80. And then finally, on eBay, I sold these Patagonia pants that I had, had listed since December of 2020. They were one of my oldest listings, um, so when I first started reselling, I heard Patagonia was the bomb. That was actually when my oldest daughter started getting into Patagonia. I don't have any Patagonia because it's expensive and I really don't do outdoor stuff but other than walk around my neighborhood which does not need Patagonia but um, I picked these up and it turns out it's not the pants that necessarily any Patagonia it's that fleece that cinchilla or chinchilla um, so when I heard one of the resellers say Patagucci I started picking up Patagonia and I'm only focusing now on certain Patagonia outerwear pieces. But anyway, um, I took an offer for $10, and after the $1.30 in fees, I was left with $8.70. That brings my Tuesday total to $87.90 for those four items, making Tuesday a gold star day. Moving on to Wednesday, Wednesday, May 12th. Um, I had five sales and they were all on Poshmark. So the first one was this Tommy Hilfiger tie. Um, it had been listed since July of last year. It sold for $10. Um, after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $7.05. Don't tip, typically pick up ties, but if I find them at the bins, I will, um, and they're like a name brand like that, I'll go ahead and pick them up just because they're lightweight and they're easy to inventory and photograph. Um, next up was this Victoria's Secret Wear Everywhere Bra size 32D. Um, it sold for $14 and after the $2.95 in fees I was left with $11.05 and I do like to pick up what I consider odd size bras but really they're, I'll pick up any bra um, nowadays because they do sell once again not for a top uh, Lot, a ton of money but I see them at the bins and they're not that distressed or they're um, my daughter's old bras or one of her friends I'll go ahead and sell those because bras are expensive especially good ones next up um, were these J McLaughlin Ross zipper pants these were size 12 and I did pick them up from my a local consignment shop they sold for 45 bucks. I think I had about $3 into them because I picked them up off the 90% off rack. And so after the $9 in fees, I was left with $36. Um, that, that item was item 400, I'm sorry, 512 of my listings this year. It was listing 512 and had been listed since April. Next up was this Jessica Simpson maternity dress size large. Um, I was checking my ratings today on Poshmark and noticed that she gave me only three stars and didn't um, leave any comment or feedback, so mm, I don't know what to do with that. But um, I do try to make sure everything is as described, um, nicely pressed, clean, ready to wear out of the package, but um, whatever. I still got paid. She purchased it for $21 and after the $4.20 in fees I was left with $16.80 um, and that had been listed since September of last year. And then finally on Wednesday was this um, golf Adidas backpack. Um, I am moving out of my house um, into a much sp smaller apartment um, temporarily. We are selling our house so we have to move out um, because houses are selling like hotcakes in Indianapolis. Um, but if we are also building a house, and building is not going very fast, 
we're not anticipated to be even have our house start building until the late fall. So we have to move into an apartment. And so I said all that to say this, I am letting things go because I will not be able to maintain as much inventory as I have at our 34 square foot house and a 1500 square foot apartment. So bags and purses, um, I'm going to not sell, not pick up anymore unless they're like high, high, like Louis Vuitton. Um, and designer because I just don't have the space for it. So I let this um, backpack go for $7 and after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $4.05. That brings my Wednesday total to $74.95. Just a nickel short of a gold star day. Moving on to Thursday, May 13th. My first sale was this Ashley Stewart bodysuit. Um, it had cut out um, cold shoulder arms. Um, this is from my consignee Camille, and I'll link her haul up above. Um, her items are all plus size, so if you are a plus size diva, make sure you check that out. I have lots of things available still in my Poshmark closet. Also, Macari and eBay, so shop the platform of your choice. I cross-list all the platforms and the price is the same no matter which platform. So it sold for $16.80 and after the $2.18 in fees, I was left with $14.62. Um, that was item 378 of the year um, and it had been listed since March. Next up was this Forever 21 button-down crop top uh, medium. I don't remember where I got this, but anyway, it sold for $10, and after the $1.30 in fees, I was left with $8.70. I'm going to guess it was one of my daughters or one of her friends, because I do not pick up Forever 21 while thrifting. Someone would have to give it to me for free. Next up on eBay was this Flax Full Zip Linen um, Jacket. It was blue, like a marble blue, size small. Um, I did pick this up at one of my favorite consignment shops, and I had about $2 into it. It sold for $30, and after the $3.90 in fees, I was left with $26.10, and that was listing 71 of the year. So it was listed back in January, so I'm happy to see that now that it's spring, those linen pieces are starting to sell. And the Final sale for Thursday was this mud casual maxi dress. This is one of my consignee coach Erin's items and I'll link, she has two hauls. I have two hauls because she um, had almost 150 items that she can sign with me. Um, so I have those all listed and I will link her hauls above so that you can check them out. There is a ton of stuff left and so um, Definitely, if you are a petite diva, check those out because she is small. Um, but this, or a short, um, this dress sold on Poshmark for $17 after the $3.40 in fees um, and the $1.50 shipping discount. Um, the end profit was $12.10. And that brings our Thursday total to $61.52. Um, Friday, May 14th, I had a multiple multitude of auctions close on eBay. As I mentioned, I am trying to thin out my inventory, so I am testing out um, moving things to $2, $5, $10 auctions on eBay um, just to um, get rid of some older inventory. Um, that I am willing to let go of and so I had a lot of this was my first week doing that and so I had several things that sold so to start off um, this was not one of those items but this is a LA hearts cow neck romper size extra small and this came is in my tiny 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 consignees um, haul Emma Emma is going to be cheering with my oldest daughter, Courtney, at Indiana University. They both made the team, and Emma is the tiny person that you throw 
three stories up um, to the top of the pyramid. So her, her items are very small. But this item sold on Macari for $14. And then after the $2.11 in fees and then the uh, $3 in shipping, we were left with $8.89. And then next up um, is an eBay sale. And this is one of those items that I sold on eBay um, on auction. And this is a Sojourner sweater. Um, it was purple, size extra large, new with tags. It had like this fringe. I got it at Posh Vest in Arizona. That's how long I've had it. Um, and so, yeah, time to go. Um, it sold for $5. And after the $0.65 cents in fees, I was left with $4.35. Um, and then I messed up on this. And for some reason, I had shipping for free. And so I basically gave this person this item because the shipping was free. Yeah, don't make stupid mistakes like that. So um, I need to double check. I don't know why. I never do free shipping, so I don't know why. Um, but I let it go because it's my mistake. I could have canceled it, but eBay is harsh on you if you make a mistake. So, yeah. Next up was this Paxson Me To We Yellow Top. Um, and it was listed since... Uh, March. It's the 372nd item of this year listing. It also sold on auction for $5 and after the 65 cents in fees I was left with $4.35. Next up were these um, on eBay another auction were these Gap Kids Glitter High Tops size 13. These were my youngest daughter's Jackie's, and she wore them, I think, twice. She does not like high-top shoes, but I thought they were super cute. Um, so they went on auction for $4.25. Um, after the $0.55 cents in sh in, in, um, fees, I was left with $3.70, and I did get $2.53 in back in shipping, and I... I have not been keeping track of that on shipping, but I decided to start keeping track of it to see if I was losing money or charging too much people for shipping. So I'm going to audit that for the next 30 days my e and maybe adjust some of my shipping prices on eBay. But it does um, balance out so that when I make a mistake and <laughs> have free shipping on something, um, that I am regrouping, recouping that because I do want to use some of the shipping money for the um, postage, the mailing packing materials that I use. For most things, Poshmark things, they all go out on the USPS um, free envelopes, but um, for Poshmark and Macari, I do have poly mailers that I use. I print my note cards on if you buy something from me, they're just on colored paper. Um, I have not invested in a fancy note card yet. Um, once I go through all my paper <laughs> that I have, maybe I will do that, but what I, I feel what I have serves, serves its purpose. But anyway, I am definitely looking into how much is spent on shipping on eBay and whether I am charging too little or too much. Next up was this Cure Short Sleeve Peasant Top Size 3X. Um, this was in my Goodwill Blue Box. Um, and I will link that haul above also. I'm not sure how much left I have from that Goodwill Blue Box. But if you're interested in um, trying a different service, I def definitely recommend the Goodwill Blue Box. I don't think they have like a... like link that I can give you to get a code or anything, but um, definitely try it out. I'll link Goodwill Blue Box below, that way you know how to get to it. Their items go, their boxes go on sale every Friday at 6 o'clock Central Time, I think, I'm Eastern Time maybe. I'm in Indiana, so whatever it is, 6 o'clock here in Indianapolis, Indiana, they go. And they sell out like in 15 minutes, all of them. 
So at least the last few times that I've done it. So if you're interested in the Google Blue Box, definitely give it a shot. Um, but anyway, um, this top sold for five fifty. dollars um, After the $0.72 cents in fees, I was left with four seventy nine, dollars And it had been listed since November. And I overcharged $1.59 on shipping on eBay. Next on the eBay auction was this Foxcroft button-down black and pink um, fitted shirt. Uh, it sold for $5 on auction, and after the $0.65 cents in fees, I was left with $4.35. I overcharged $1.83 for shipping on that. Um, and that item had been listed since January. It was item number 157. And then next up was this Chico's Knit V-neck um, size 2. They do do vanity sizing, so I think 2 is like a medium-large um, gold top. It sold on auction for $2.25. After the $0.29 cents in fees, I was left $1.96, and I did overcharge on shipping on that, so I got $1.41 back in shipping and that had been listed since November as well. So just on the shipping from those auction items, I think I overestimate on knit tops. So I tend to do between eight and 10 ounces and they're more like between five and six. Um, so I will probably try to get my act together with my scale and have my scale with me when I measure or when I package things. Um, before I do the listing and start writing that down so that I don't um, overcharge people too much. It's never going to be perfect, and I do have, like to have a little bit of buffer, like I said, to purchase shipping supplies or to if I have to pay out shipping because sometimes I do not charge enough um, for shipping, and then I have to pay so it'll kind of balance out better. So, so Thursday's total um, was... For those seven items, $31.39, but since I had overcharged over the course of 10 items, um, $10.20 in shipping, that brings my Friday total to $41.59. Um, and that was even with me messing up the one and giving free shipping. Moving on to Monday, May 15th. Um, the first item to sell has already had a case opened and been returned to me. Um, typically when a case is open, I'm just like, yeah, whatever, give it back to me. Um, if you're not happy with it, I don't want a bad rating, I can sell it again. But it was these Lily Pulitzer high-rise leggings, size small. Um, they sold for $40, and after the $8 in fees, I made $32. I did not include those in my um, total um, because they're coming back to me. Um, the reason they're coming back is because she, I have in the title that they're high rise and she says that they're low rise. And I'm pretty sure I looked up the Lily Pulitzer listing um, and they said it said high rise. So whatever, like I said, Lily Pulitzer They'll sell again, maybe for more money. If you're interested in, to, in them, message me. They're size small, and when I get them back, I'll send them to you for 40 bucks. Um, and I didn't write how long. Oh, those had not even gotten an inventory number yet because they had not been put in um, the computer yet. They were still in the basket waiting for my husband to process. Um, the next thing... Um, to sell was also on eBay and it was this Lane Bryant skirt size 26 28 and it was my consigned Camille's um, item it sold for $16 and then after the two dollar and eight cents in fees I was left with $13.92 now I did not charge enough shipping for that so I ended up coming out of pocket $1.88 for shipping so that's what I'm talking about. I want to have a cushion to balance out for when I underestimate or when I overestimate. Um, next on eBay was another auction item. It was this Blue Pepper Semi Sheer Cardigan. It sold for $2 and after the 
26 cents in fees. I was left with $1.74 and I overcharged on shipping and got $2.08 back. Um, next on eBay, another auction item was this Anthropology Odell size 4 button down top. It had eyelet detail. It sold for $2.25 and after the 29th, so somebody, I think I started at $2, so there might, must have been like some kind of counter bid. Um, after the fees, I was left with $1.96 and that was another item that I overcharged on the shipping. Um, and then the final auction item was this unbranded woman's v-neck um, line tunic. This was a tunic that I bought for myself. I wore it a couple of years um, and now I don't want to wear it anymore so I gave it, I'm reselling it. So it sold for $5.59 and after the 73 cents in fees I was left with $4.86 and I also overcharged on that. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but the LED top had been listed since 2019. So those older listings I am putting up for auction and hoping to clear those out so I don't have to move things from my house to the department. I would rather just sell them for what I can get and not have to put in the extra manual labor. And this unbranded tunic was just recently listed. It is the 638th listing of this year and it was listed back in April. That brings my Saturday total to $22.48 um, and I had $4.32 in um, overcharges in shipping so we're looking at about $27 for the day. So that brings me to the end where we go over this week, the weekly totals. So my total for the week was $306.38. I lied, wrong post-it. It was not much better. My total for the week was $319.96. Um, items sold were $29. And um, a lot of those were auction items. So that brought the sell price down, or the average sell price down, to $1103. The cost of goods for the, all those items was 15 Now the platforms that items sold on, 15 on eBay because I did run a bunch of auctions. On Poshmark there were 13 and on Macari just one. And then finally my the consignment end of my business sold 6 items for a total of $91.48. That is 28%, 28 28.5%. 6% of my total overall earnings and once again all of my earnings all the all of the numbers that I'm sharing with you are after fees they are what I actually get to take home and pay a bill with pay, I'm almost done with credit cards so and then so the breakdown is I paid out 36.59 to my consignees and I kept 54.89 so that was my week, not the best week ever, but I also did not list that much, less than 20 items the week before, and I'm used to trying to list 10 items a day. So I definitely think the lack of listing has kept my sales kind of stagnant. So um, I'd love to know how your week went. Please leave me a comment below, and if you're interested in following me on my resale journey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. And definitely on your way out, smash that like button. If you are still hanging out with me, there was something you liked. So go ahead and like. Until next time, bye.